Hello everyone, this is Jeff Vogel at High Fashion Sewing Machines and Quilt Shop in Grand Junction, Colorado. It is time for May of 2021 FTCU Club at High Fashion. Today we're going to learn about the magic wand, which is up here, and the digitizing toolbox, or digitizing tools, which there are, when you click down on here, we have a manual stitch, we have a satin stitch, we have the run stitch, we have a classic satin stitch, we have a steel stitch, complex fill, and applique. So we're going to um, see what these tools do. I've owned this software for four or five years and never knew what these tools, tools did. So um, it was a good learning video by Trevor Conkergood today and uh, show you how to access that because I want you to watch this before you do this video. So we're going to go into the um, website where we have the Floriani Club, and hopefully that's loading, and show you where to access that. There we go. And um, it's about a 19-minute video. Trevor gets into some things that uh, um, really show you how to use this tool well. So let's see if we're going here and uh, just trying to show you how to access that video. So if you, uh, when you turn on your <coughs> FTCU software, you will get, uh, you know, R&K Club, and that's where you want to go to. So we have this, we have the software club. We're going to sign in. I'm already there. I'm logged in now. And to find the previous, um, months or weeks videos, you always go into blogs and news and club weekly video archive. And we're going to go down to there and I'm going to show you how to access the 2021 weekly archive. It has the newest ones on the left. So what you want to do is you want to click on digitizing toolbox by Trevor and watch that. And once you've watched that, you can come on back and uh, jump Welcome into my uh, video. So now that you've watched that, we're going to go into um, our backdrop tool. So you have a backdrop library over here. And I'm going to click on that. And we're going to review our images. So I am just clicked on one so they show. And I know that the... Uh, one we're working with today is FBD080. It's a Florida Lee. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And it's right here in my workspace now. So this Florida Lee is what we're going to work with today just as our sample. So uh, you can work along with me or watch and stop and go from there. So the first tool we're going to use with this Florida Lee as a backdrop is to show you how to turn it off and on. So right now it's off. There's no box or handles around it. So to turn it on, uh, we come over here to the backdrop tool and just simply click on it. And now you have the handles and you can make them smaller. You can make this smaller, shorter. You can go to the properties box over here and then put in a value. So that's how you can change the size on it. I'm gonna leave it just as the uh, about two and a three quarters inch size. So I click on the workspace or actually if I hit my select tool, the box goes away. So now that is only an image in the background. I'm using that to draw or trace around. That's all this is for. However, if you use this magic wand, if I hover over it, it's a magic wand. I'm going to click on it, and now there's crosshairs attached to it. And I'm going to click right on one of the colors, and it gives me an outline of that color. So. It's a great tool instead of having to use your digitizing pencil to click all the way around there. So if I grab this, now I hope you can see that we have the outline of this Florida Lee. And I'm going to work just with the outline of the Florida Lee so this background I am going to turn off. Depending upon how many tools you have on the left hand column, I have to come down, there's a little two little dot dots here. I have to click on that and I'm going to toggle the background off. 
Now I want this in the middle of my workspace, so I'm going to double click the magnifier, and now it's in the middle of my workspace. So this is artwork. We can uh, give it a run stitch, so it's uh, real nice. So I can just any of these one click wonders along the bottom, I can click on. So here is my run stitch, and if you look at it, it's in 3D. You can see that you have a nice little stitched lines there. So that's a easy, quick way to take an object and get an outline on it. Now, let's go a little further with this. Let's use our tool up here. It's called a circle template. So I'm going to take that circle template. If it defaults, I want eight of these Florida leaves, so I'm going to bounce it up to eight. And then if you use this angle on the bottom, the bottom box it says angle. If I hold that, and I hold it down, look at it, it's changing the angle of these guys. So if I want the Florida leaves to all point into itself, I could go to 90. But I found that 270 is, uh, is pointing away. So I'm going to hit 270 and hit apply. So that's a really neat little circle effect. Now if I change the size of the circle, this is the circle dimensions up here. I'm going to reduce it by holding down. And I want to reduce it till those, till that little circles down here just about touch. So I'm going to go a little bit bigger because it's overlapping. So look at the effect you get. It's kind of like playing Spirograph when you were little. So I'm, I like that. I'm going to hit OK here. And now we have like a Mariner's wheel. It would make a great stitch out for the middle of a round quilt block. You can size this. It's sized in at just a hair under 5 inches. Now, this is a run stitch because it tells me it's a single run stitch up here. I have it selected. If you click over on your workspace, it's deselected. And if you look in the background, there's still that original Florida lease. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to right click, come down, and hit delete. So now I have just that eight Mariner look there. And it's selected. I want to get a little fancier with this. So I'm going to come down here and click on Run Motif. And mine defaults to number 209. I'm going to scroll down here to something a little bit less busy. And anything in pink here, if you see that, is ones that I actually made on another video of Motif Runs. So we're coming down. There's so many motifs. You could spend a day going through these. Uh, I, I like the motif pattern size about three, just to uh, make this look a little less busy. And there we go. Looks pretty cool. I'm going to use the magnifier glass and draw a little box around here so you can kind of see what it looks like as it would stitch out. Looks like there's a little crown or something there with where all those things overlap. So this just a play. You can play with this all you want. It's a really, really, I think, a, you know, stitch it out. That's the next, you know, next thing to do is after you've played with it a little bit. So there you go using the Magic Wand tool. It only works on color and it has to be artwork or a picture. And it'll just pick one color and outline it. So Trevor showed us how to use these tools here. So if we click on digitizing tool, we have these tools. So let's play around with there. So we need to um, get ourselves a um, clean workspace. So I'm going to, that's selected. I'm going to hit the delete key on my, my uh, computer. I'm first going to hit the select. So you always have to remember, you have to hit the select tool. Now I should be able to hit my delete key and it'll be gone. So I'm going to go backwards, backwards. I'm going to get back to, I've been using this particular workspace for a while. So there's my Florida Lee, and Florida Lee, and another Florida Lee. So I should just totally get rid of this workspace so it's not dragging my computer and making it go slower. So here's that we did earlier. And I'm going to select it, hit delete. And what else do we have here? I'm going to select it, hit delete. 
And what else do we got going? Wow, we don't have a whole lot going on here. I'm just going to get a new workspace by hitting this blue piece of paper. And I'm going to go up into the backdrops again and pick that Florida Lee. So I know it's FBD080 or actually FBD080. Didn't find it. Anyway, we're going to go 080 and find it that way and hit open. So we have our backdrop again and we're going to take this in segments. We're going to take this top leafy part we're going to go up to our digitizing tools and collect the satin stitch tool. So to make the satin stitch tool work, we're going to click around this like we're digitizing. So I'm going to start at the, the top point, and then I'm going to hold down the control key and click around the edge of this. And when I hold down the control key, it will actually follow the curve. Now to go straight, I'm just going to release the control key, click. I'm going to click one little short time, and then I'm going to hit the control the rest of the way. So this actually follows the curve of the Florida Lee. I'm not going to go all the way to the end. I have to, whoops, I got one out of, see this spot right here? It's kind of out of spot. So if I hit backspace once, twice, three times, I'm ready to go again. I'm going to hit control, control, and I'm not hitting that last one yet. I'm going to come down here to these dot, dot, dots and hit close shape. All right. Now I have to tell the uh, software what inclination I want. So I'm going to get near the edge. I'm going to hold down the left clicker and drag it across. And I'm going to do an angle there. So there's my inclination. And then I'm going to hit my right key again. And there's my stitches. So if I hit uh, 3D here, that's what they look in 3D. I'm going to deselect 3D. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this other leaf over here. So if you look right along this bottom part right here, it tells you what the tool is doing. The tool is ready. So if I touch here, it says enter points. So I'm going to hit my, my points here. And now I'm going to hit control so it curves around this leaf again. You only have to do one of these. Once we do one leaf, we can copy it, flip it put it on the other side. So I get to the point, then I release the control, so it goes straight a couple times. Now I hit control so it curves. And I come down inside the area, come over to here, hit these two little dots so I can get to close shape. Now it's waiting for an inclination, so I'm dragging across, so you see it yellow. And then I hit right click, and we have the other leaf there. So let's see what it looks like in 3D. Looks pretty cool. All right. So now I'm coming to my select tool and I'm, I'm going to select that leaf. And there's a lot of ways you can copy and paste. Um, I like to use this duplication right here. So there's two little pieces of dog eared uh, icon. So I'm going to left click there and it copied that uh, leaf for me. Now I'm going to come right up here and horizontally flip it. And then I'm going to grab it and I'm going to put it right on the green spot. How about that? There we go. We have, we have the top half of our Florida Lee. Now, next step, we're going to make this part that kind of looks like a top hat, like Abraham Lincoln would be wearing. So we're going to use a complex fill for that. So I'm going to go up to my digitizing tools and I'm going to use this complex fill stitch. And all we have to do here is click, left click, left click. I'm using straight edges so I don't have to control anything. Left click, 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 right click. That's a simple tool. So that's what that what's that look like? It's a little different stitch pattern. You can make it satin. You can come in the properties over here and get any sort of a stitch that you want in there. Okay, so that's two out of those tools. Let's do a steel outline stitch around here. So we're going to go up here to our digitizing tools. We're going to go to steel stitch. And this was another easy tool. So I'm going to hit left click, 
left click. I'm going to hit control because I'm going to go around this circle to try to make this circle really nice. It's never turned out exactly the same. And I'm going to let go and going to come up here. And then I'm going to right click. And simple as that, we have a steel stitch. A little off kilter there. To get it to look exactly right, the best way is to enlarge that area and then uh, do your clicks around it a larger area. That way you can get it exactly around the way you like it. So uh, I'm going to hit my select tool. And I still see this green in the background. So I'm going to come down here to these two dots and I'm going to toggle off the backdrop tool. So now I have no backdrop in there at all. And voila, we got a um, filled in uh, Florida Lee. And again, you can use that, you can select it. So you hit uh, select all items. And we can come up to this circle template again. And if we uh, put in 270 and apply, you got this look. And if I I can add as many of these Florida Lees as I want. And when I make the circle smaller, it brings it in this guy here. Now, if I change the angle to 90 and hit apply, it'll flip those guys out. Now it kind of looks like a Christmas tree ornament, like a snowflake. This circle template, I mean, you can sit hours and play with it and stitch it out and have some really, really cool designs to look at. So now it's going to go into my workspace, and that's what it looks going to look like in a simulation. If we turn the 3D off, occasionally you'll find extra little dotted lines because it's probably not have the best start and stop, entry or exit. So if we come up here to these little pink boxes, you can optimize the entry exit as long as the whole item's selected, and it'll automatically uh, reduce those jump stitches and it'll find the best method for it to stitch out on your machine. So there's just one little tip there. Now here's a tip I had earlier today when I was practicing this. Every time I went to um, click my pencil, if I had this uh, pencil drawing tool here, every time I went to click it, no matter what, it was curving for me. So I turned the software off, I turned it back on, it was still curving for me. and whether I held down, now if I hold down control, it's supposed to curve. See how that curves? I couldn't figure it out. I turned the software off, I turned the computer off, and every time it'd come back on, I was still doing that. Well, my tool up here, see this little line part here? That controls what this pencil or the, the uh, digitizing tool does, and it had been set at arc or Benzene. So if I touch this, every time I touch it, it makes an arc. And I, that's what was causing it. So you need to make sure that this selection is on straight line. So then you can control straight or curved. So that's my lesson for this month. Uh, again, remember to uh, check out my other videos. I do some wonderful videos all on Bernina sewing machines and regular sewing machines. I have a wonderful precision tipped oil you can order through the store or you can actually can order through my Shopify account. It is Bernina-Jeff period myshopify.com and I have about 15 or 20 of my favorite tools on there and uh, you can order right through there. Uh, if you want to uh, call, this, call the shop it's 970-256-1293 you can actually talk to somebody here in person, and we love talking to all of our customers. Thank you very much, and please subscribe.